Newman discusses institutional discrimination in this chapter, but we covered it at such length in a former chapter, I feel that we should have a strong understanding of the concept at this point. Newman defined institutional discrimination as the established laws, customs, policies, and practices that systematically reflect and produce inequalities in society, whether or not the individuals maintaining these practices have discriminatory intentions. On a global basis, discrimination is the norm, not the exception, and it occurs everywhere, not just in the U.S. Examples on a global basis are in Eastern Europe, the Roma or the Gypsies, in Israel, the clash between the Jews and Palestinians, in India, the Hindus and Muslims, and Iraq, the Sunnis and Shiites. And now we're dealing with an unprecedented crisis of Somalian refugees out of the Horn of Africa. So I want to end this chapter with a quote from Newman. He hopes that we will consider the interface between social indifference and unequal treatment. He states that, we ourselves create the boundaries that separate groups and then respond to outsiders as if their outside status is natural. Such a process is a setup because rarely do individuals embrace those who appear different, whether it's a painted bird, a sexual or ethno-racial minority, or a nine-year-old kid coming to grips with his differences in a new school.